Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new build challenge. So today we're going to be doing the every room is a different budget challenge. So basically we're going to use this random number generator that I just found on Google and we're going to do a minimum of 500 and a maximum of we'll say 20,000. That's like a lot. We won't really even be able to fill up a room with that much. So we're going to do that for every single room. And I already built a little bit of a shell. So I think the first room that we're going to do is the kitchen. So we're going to generate for the kitchen. I'm really nervous. I've never done a challenge like this. So I'm like really excited. So here we go. Okay, 7,193 for the kitchen. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and head into game and see what we can do with that. Okay, so we're just in Willow Creek, and this is the shell that I built for this just really quickly. And we'll, we're will we going to do the outside last. I think that it'll just be easier that way. So if we head on in, I feel like the kitchen will go like in this area. Maybe like a back door there to do the backyard. And then maybe like the living area in this corner. We have a little hallway, bathroom, and bedroom. So really, really simple. Yeah, so all the windows are going to be based on this too. Just really nerve-wracking. So just for the kitchen, we're only going to use like the budget right here. Um. So yeah. Let's go ahead and get that. So it was 7,193. So first off, we need some lights. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually place some saucer lights. I really like these lights. They're just so bright and perfect. So I'm guessing the front door is going to be like here. So, okay, let's see. I feel like our budget's actually pretty good. Right? Maybe what I'll do first is just buy the cheapest appliances and then we'll work around that to make it work. So I do want a back door. I just spent like 10 minutes looking for these doors. So <laughs> finally have them. Let's go ahead and get some counters now. So yeah, actually, I feel like our budget is really, really good. I do have some CC. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to use it. It's Maxis Match. But it'll still be Q and Match. A game. And... Mm, well, I guess they're really cheap. Maybe I should just stick with parenthood. I think I'm just gonna stick with parenthood for now. We might change the colors. I feel like that looks weird. Like for some reason, it's like not filling in the space, right? Okay, I pushed it up a bit more and I feel like that's a bit better. Based on where the front door goes, we could even fit like a small dining table in there, which I think would be nice. But for now, let's just get the sink and some windows and then we'll replace the appliances with something a bit nicer. I really like the sink. Um, It's just this like base game one. I feel like it looks really good. So as far as windows go, maybe we'll just go with seasons. I don't know. Is that a bad idea? Should I go with a base game window instead so it matches better? Okay, I'm gonna take the easy way out and just just grab these base game windows. Okay, so now let's go ahead and change the appliances to something a little bit nicer. We got really lucky with the nice kitchen. I really like this fridge that came with Cottage Living. So cute. Honestly, we have enough for the really nice fridge, so I think we're just gonna go with that. I mean, I love this stove from Snowy Escape. It honestly cannot be beat. So I guess we'll just get some bar stools. Maybe from Tiny Living. Ooh, or Parenthood, actually. We'll stick with Parenthood. It's just a perfect well-rounded pack. Okay, so before I forget, we need to do the flooring. I'm probably gonna regret that, but I guess I'm gonna go with it. And we need some tile. The colors are kind of weird. Maybe I should look at the swatches first if we want to change the counter. Black might modernize it a bit and just, you know, brighten everything a little bit because now we can use black and like wood tones. Ooh, the black looks really like modern and nice. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in base game that is modern, so maybe if like we're completely broke, if I choose modern stuff, we'll still be able to use it. We can use the snowy escape bridge. Ooh, that looks so nice. Okay. Okay, so I went ahead and switched the window to a snowy escape one just because I feel like it looks a little bit better. I just really like that one. And we're just gonna throw up some cabinets. Okay, so I went ahead and like threw up the cabinets. We got a range hood and we still have thousand millions left. So I guess now we just need to clutter things up a little bit. So I've cluttered up the kitchen counters and there's still so much money left. Like, I don't know. Am I supposed to use all the money in this challenge? Do we have to do that? Like, I don't even know. And maybe since we have so much money, we could use um, this budget for the dining room since it's like just this little corner anyways. It's nothing like too crazy. I feel like that's kind of weird to have on the table, but I don't know what else to put. So I guess we're gonna end that there. Okay, that just took me 
me like 30 minutes just to do this little section. So I guess next we're going to spin for the living room and then like a part of the living room is I mean the flooring and like this area I guess so like this whole common ground area is gonna be the living room okay so we're spinning for the living room okay 4,592 all right I think we can work with that okay so first of all we need flooring maybe eco lifestyle Ooh, i like that this is like half of our budget but i love this tiny living tv and i never use it for some reason honestly the cottage living one was our entire budget but look how pretty the blue kind of matches okay let's see what we can do with the rest of this budget because i really want to use this couch if i can i love this chair we need more stuff like this with like the little throw on it i like the yellow and then if we did this in black and then maybe switch this to the other yellow maybe black and yellow is like our theme instead of black and blue we need like the tiny living coffee table how much is that 200 okay she's pricey but so cute though and look if i layered these would match the rest of the house oh she's getting so expensive as far as rugs go i'm thinking we use this snowy escape one look how gorgeous i love it okay i'm switching it up again we're going back to blue but maybe we can do blue and yellow i mean what's wrong with a couple of colors nobody said we couldn't have multiple maybe we can do like a some sort of accent wall maybe in black i know that's a little bit weird to have like a black wall but if i can find that oh here's a black let's hope we can actually get a painting because i guess that'll complete oh but we need a table over here too maybe we can just get these like plants maybe a couple of these Is that weird sized up <laughs> Okay, we only have two dollars. Dang it. I wanted to put some plants in here and like, I don't know, a mirror. I don't know. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I like it. I like how this is now. <laughs> okay, so I guess next is the hallway. So we're spinning for the hallway. Ooh, <laughs> we got a lot of money. Okay, 10823 for a hallway. Now we're definitely not spending all of that. Okay, so I don't know what colors we should go for in the hallway. I don't know if we should go for like the same. So I want to get, I guess, this same window in here. I'm just going to go ahead and pop these into all the rooms so you can actually see. Okay, so as far as this room goes, I don't know. I guess just another table. This table has to be black though because it doesn't come in the colors because you know nothing in this game matches. Just put a plant, maybe some books, and then maybe just like this tiny living lamp. Has. <laughs> and then I guess just a runner. And I guess maybe we can put some expensive artwork in here. Oh, I really like that. That's really pretty. And now I guess we'll just get some expensive art. I'll just scroll all the way to the bottom and see. We have this. It's not really modern though, is it? I feel like this is more of a modern house. I feel like this I don't know what it is, but this painting definitely belongs in this house. Kind of feeling like a gallery wall, but it just depends on what paintings we have because we don't have a lot. Okay, so that's the hallway. I feel like it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. And let's spin for the bathroom. We're probably gonna get like 500 for this one. Okay, so we're spinning for the bathroom. 2,683. Hmm. I think we can work with that. Let's go ahead and head in the game and see. Okay, so 2,683 to do this bathroom. I'm thinking we go with the same tile. Maybe we should stick to the same as the bathroom. I mean, as the kitchen again, just to keep it really cohesive. It's just nice and modern. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the cheapest stuff because I'm scared. This is actually a huge bathroom. Why do they make the bathroom so big? Okay, maybe we need to shorten this actually. Okay, so now there's just like this little nook that maybe we can make a closet out of or something. Hopefully we have money because the bedroom's also really big. <laughs> but I feel like the bathroom is just way too big before. We have money for like a nice bathtub. I really like this one from Seasons. I feel like that's nice and it has the black and the white. Okay, I feel like that's really cute. So I guess all that's left is we need to do the bedroom and then the outside. I'm not sure if I want to do the front like the entire exterior as one or spin for the front yard spin for the backyard because i mean the front yard we really only need wallpaper and a door so i don't think it matters that much <laughs> so okay let's just go ahead and spin for the bedroom and we'll see where that takes us okay okay eighteen thousand one hundred and eighteen for the bedroom okay we're buying the most expensive everything i guess Okay, so I'm excited for this one because, I mean, we can have literally anything. So, you know, that's fun. And maybe in this room will be some sort of walk-in closet area. I don't have Dream Home Decorator or, or Get Famous, so 
there's that <laughs> I can't exactly have like some beautiful big walk-in closet so I don't know we can always make it like another bathroom so we're gonna make the windows a bit bigger for this one and what's the most expensive bed we have well there's Murphy beds um definitely don't want that that does not scream luxury okay this is a $12,000 bed oh that was all over budget okay we're not as rich as I thought I'm just kidding <laughs> take it back Ooh, this one is gorgeous and it comes in like a green which i like there's also this blue which kind of matches like the little hints of blue we have honestly i really like this rug maybe i should go with the snowy escape bed instead i mean even though it's gonna be cheaper the snowy escape bed is really beautiful oh beautiful look at that wow but we could use this wardrobe in our little closet okay so i filled the room up with like this expensive Discover University couch and a tree because we can. Other than that, like I'm having a really hard time filling up the space. Um, I don't know what to put. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna put like plants everywhere and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna shove a bunch of plants into this corner and that corner, hopefully. <laughs> and I just put a mirror in this closet. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Let's have these. Ooh, maybe we'll just go with this set. Maybe we'll just go with this set from eco lifestyle i never use this but i feel like it fits the vibe Ooh, so cute okay i really like that so okay the house looks a little weird from the outside the windows are a choice um probably not my best decision but ooh, i don't know <laughs> i guess we're gonna spin for the outside and if it's a huge budget we'll just go ahead and do the front and the back with that and if it's small we'll do them separately so let's spin okay give me a big number please give me a big number 3,000. Okay, 3,000. Let's see how far that gets us in the front. I don't know how far that can get us in the back. I really want a fence. Okay, we need a front door. And I'm kind of thinking stick with what we know and do eco lifestyle. I, I feel like that works enough. I guess we can go with that. And then I want to have like a little patio on the back, but now I'm nervous because our budget is small. Um, Because I forgot we have to landscape too. So maybe back here I'll just like put a grill and then I want like a table. Oh my gosh, this this is gorgeous. I love this one again from Snowy Escape. I feel like that looks really good. I really like that. Although I really want a fence. But if I get a fence, even if I use this cheapest one from Eco Lifestyle, I feel like we won't have enough for landscaping. Oh no way, actually. Okay. I don't hate it. And now I guess we just need to chuck some trees in here. Call it a day. I'm really, really bad at landscaping. If you watch my videos, you know, I talk about this all the time, but I'm the worst. Literally the absolute worst. Okay, so this isn't my best work, but let's go ahead and look at the house. So this is the front. It has potential. Um, I like the two different bricks, but I feel like the windows were really the downfall. I feel like if they were all seasons, it would look a little bit better. And then on the inside, we have the kitchen, which I think is so beautiful. I love it. Um, we have our little dining nook, super cute. A little cozy living area. I really love it. I feel like everything's so cozy. And we have our little um, hallway. <laughs> I don't, I'm not good at the camera stuff like other people, so. Oh, I forgot um, some wallpaper. Don't look at that. You didn't see that. <laughs> we have a beautiful bathroom. I love this. The black and the white looks so good. And we have this really eclectic, random bedroom. And then in the backyard, we just have a little bit of a hangout spot. So yeah, I guess that was this challenge. Let me know if you guys liked it and if you want to see more. If you have any other ideas, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!